Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill here, and I'm uh, recapping the Illinois Chicago Flames at Butler Bulldogs game that took place last night at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Butler, um, this was their final uh, regular season home game, so it was senior night. Two seniors on the team, Ronald Norred and Garrett Butcher. Butcher came off the bench to score four points. Ronald Norred uh, had close to a triple-double, 12 points, 8 assists, and 7 rebounds as Butler goes on to win this game 69-44. to And this was just an amazing game for Butler. They, you know, they've been playing so great here over the last few games. Um, this was their fifth straight win, their longest uh, winning streak of the season. And it was just, they were just impressive. The defense was all over the place. They were just stealing uh, the ball, all over, you know, they were hustling to the ball converting on some great opportunities. They were passing the ball on the offensive end with ease. Um, and the shooting went, you know, they shot the ball really well again, for, uh, once again. Um, but Roosevelt Jones had 13 points and 10 rebounds for Butler. And uh, Andrew Smith and Krishan Hopkins both had 10 points. And this was uh, Butler's 12th win in a row against uh, Illinois Chicago. But this win, if anything, just really put the Horizon League on notice, you know. They beat Illinois Chicago by 25, so they swept Illinois Chicago this season. But five wins in a row, and you take down uh, teams that were in the top half of the conference, who went on the road and defeated Youngstown State, went on the road and defeated Cleveland State, uh, beat Loyola of Chicago a few games ago, a couple games ago um, by six points, and then to senior night, take down Illinois Chicago by 25 points. Uh... It was just a, it was a great game, and it's exactly what Butler needed going into their final game of the season. This win puts Butler at 18 and 12 overall. They're 11 and 6 in the Horizon League. Um, they moved into second place with this win. Um, you know, Detroit still has another game they've got to play. Uh, they haven't played as many games as Butler. Um, if they do win that game, then they will be tied with Butler for second place. Uh, Cleveland State still continues to fall apart. They're struggling. They lost their game, which allowed Butler to jump them and move into second place. Valparaiso defeated Loyola of Chicago in overtime at home. Um, that win clinched the Horizon League for Valparaiso. It's their first ever Horizon League Conference you know, championship regular season because um, they haven't been in the Horizon League that long. used to be in the Summit League. Um, but anyway, they won it outright, so they're guaranteed the number one seed in a double bye in the Horizon League tournament. Guarantees them home court advantage in the semifinals and in the championship game if they happen to make it that far. But, you know, Butler moving into second place, this is exactly what they needed. And they, they're going to need some help because Detroit is just a half a game behind them. They have the tiebreaker on Butler if they do uh, finish tied so Butler's got to hope Detroit loses a game, and Butler's got to win their final game. And they've got to hope Cleveland State also loses. Um, if Butler and Cleveland State end up tied for second, uh, they're going to look at who had more wins against the number one seed in the conference, which would be Valpo. Cleveland State was swept by Valparaiso. Butler would need to beat uh, Valparaiso this Saturday. Uh, that wouldn't help break the tiebreaker. They would have gone one and one against Valpo. But Valparaiso, uh, they're probably not going to make the NCAA tournament. You know, well, they're definitely not going to make the NCAA tournament as an at-large bid. So this game on Saturday, where they host Butler, I mean, it's going to have some meaning as far as it being senior night for them. But it's not going to have any meaning as far as NCAA tournament implications. They've already wrapped up the number one seed in the Horizon League. Um, they're going to need to win the Horizon League to get into the NCAA tournament. They don't really have any good quality wins, at least no wins against ranked teams. Uh, but Butler is going to be going into that game with a chip on their shoulder. They know they need a, the number two seed to get that double buy in the Horizon League tournament. They don't want the three seed or anything lower than that because that means they've got to go through four games to get the Horizon League championship. So Butler's going to be playing their hearts out. Um, Valpo, you know, the seniors will probably be playing their hearts out as well. But uh, 
Butler's going to need this win more than Valpo will. And um, Valpo beat Butler uh, at Butler earlier in the season. Uh, it was an overtime win for Valpo. Butler th basically threw that game away. Couldn't hit their free throws in the clutch there at the end, um, particularly Andrew Smith. Uh, but I think Andrew's gotten better. The whole team's gotten better. And they definitely have what it takes to win this game. If they can go on the road and defeat Youngstown State, defeat Cleveland State, then this should be uh, just, you know, it's going to be difficult, but it shouldn't be any more difficult than, you know, beating those two teams on the road. Especially with the way Valpo has been playing here lately. Like Cleveland State, they've been dropping a few games against teams they really shouldn't be losing to. But uh, they build up such a big lead in the Horizon League that they were able to uh, win the Horizon League outright because they, you know, they put some distance on them on everybody else before they start dropping some games. Um, but anyway, huge game for Butler this Saturday. They need this win bad. Um, they need that top two seeds or that number two seed, you know, for the double buy. Um, it's going actually. It's not a Saturday game. It's a Friday game. I apologize. Friday night game, ESPNU. Guys got to watch that. It's going to be a great one. Definitely a good rivalry game, in-state rivalry there. Uh, but anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'm sorry once again that uh, my recap videos took so long to get put up. You know, with the death of my great-grandma, you no know, crap happens like that. And I'm just sorry I couldn't get them out to you on time. But anyway, thank you a lot for your support, and thank you for watching. And you guys have a good night, and go Butler Blue.